Pilates for your custom body. Today we will be doing a full body yoga flow and it'll be intense but also will feel like a very nice stretch. So let's get started. You're going to begin on your mat. I'm going to get directional cues based on your rights and lefts, top part of your mat and back part of your mat. So facing the top of your mat, start in your child's pose, reaching your hands forward, focusing on engaging your abs by pressing into the mat with your hands and lowering your hips towards your heels. Drop your forehead to the mat. Adding some movement to this position, start to reach your hands to the right side of your mat. Let your head drop in your left side body stretch. Take an inhale and then exhale, walk over to the other side. Again, same thing, push into the mat, let your hips fall to your right heel and drop your chin to your chest. The more you can drop your chin to your chest, the more you'll feel the stretch in your back. Inhale, exhale, recover, stretch your hands back to the top of your mat. Good, on your next breath, place your hands into the mat on all fours in a tabletop position. You wanna keep your nose slightly down so you're staring at your thumbs. We're gonna go into cat and cow. Inhale, release your chest, let it sink between your shoulders, looking up toward the ceiling when you fall. Exhale, initiate belly button to spine, dropping your tailbone down and tucking your chin into your chest. Repeat two more times. Inhale, drop the chest, inhale, looking up. Exhale, contract, pulling the tailbone under and pressing the hands firm into the mat. Last time like this, inhale, release and exhale, contract. Good, back into a tabletop position. Again, remembering that we wanna keep proper alignment, so nose is down, looking at your thumbs. Reach your left hand and your right leg in off position. So you're pulling to the top of your mat and reaching your foot back. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee together, curling in your torso, and then inhale, extending back out. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Inhale, contract. And extend. Press your left hand into the mat. Tuck your toes and lift your hips. Three-legged dog. Bend your knee in towards your chest. Place the foot into your hand. Inhale, lunge. Good. Take an inhale. Reach your chest forward. Exhale, soften the rib cage, pulling back in and pressing the hips forward. I like to do that because it makes you aware of your alignment. You're going to flip your heel down and open your hips to the left side of your mat. Warrior two, your Vajrasana two. Reach back, reverse warrior. Inhale, side angle. Reaching your left arm up and over. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, wheel and bail your hands down. Placing your hands firm into the mat, use your back leg to press you into standing splits. Drop your head down towards your nose. This you'll feel a very nice stretch along your leg. If it's uncomfortable, soft bend in the knees. That way you can keep your hands firm on the mat and you don't have any discomfort in the legs. Otherwise, straighten your leg fully. Bend your left knee behind your right and then extend back up, adding some squats. Exhale in, inhale out. Exhale, drop the left foot down onto the mat, lowering yourself, keeping your right ankle cross or cross-legged position. Reach your hands forward, inhale. In this stretch, since the right ankle is crossed, you'll feel a stretch along the right side of your body, into your back and into your neck. Inhale, reach out and scoop up, bringing yourself into a boat pose with your legs in tabletop. Retract your shoulders back so your heart is forward and the chest opening. Extend your left leg, keep the right knee bent, and switch. Switch. Be mindful of your breath. Remember that we want the breath to facilitate the movement. Keep your right knee bent, hug that knee into your chest as you lower yourself down to the mat. Flex your left foot and anchor the heel. I'm big into that because it just creates more support and it makes you conscientious of that foot. Wrap your left elbow around your right knee and reach back for a spiral. 
spiraling is really good for movement in your spine. It also helps with things like digestion. If you ever find yourself having a tight back too, please do this stretch. Inhale, tall. Exhale, deeper. Recover back, shoulders to the top of your mat. Reach your right leg open, stretching your right hand back, coming into a banana stretch, so you're arching. This isn't a technical term for this stretch, but a banana is a good visual for what we're doing. Lower your hips down, keeping the leg where it's at so the foot falls to the inside of the left leg. Start to reach forward. And slowly roll up. Reach your right foot long, both heels flex and hands back behind your hips, preparing you for reverse warrior. Inhale, lift your hips, open your heart to the ceiling. Again, don't break your neck, but keep your nose up so that your spine is in alignment. Lower your hips down. Cross your right foot over your left and place your forearm down onto the mat, reaching up towards the ceiling. I'm going to have you flip, flip over to your mat. So both forearms are down onto the mat, head is forward towards the back. Lower your knees down, stretch into your child's pose. Reach your hands to the left side of your mat, hips down towards your right heel. Reach to your right side, left hip falls to your left heel. Reach back to the top of your mat and then place your hands down on all fours in a tabletop position. Remember that nose looking down at your thumb. We're going to challenge our cat and cow position by taking a nose dive. Bend your elbows, nose dive into the mat and reach up. Again, eyes looking where the ceiling meets the wall. Exhale, contract, pull the elbows in by the rib cage and press your upper back towards the ceiling. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, nose dive the other way, cat. Pressing the hands down, we wanna be nice and curled. Inhale, and exhale. Neutral spine, eyes to your thumbs. Reach, this time, the right hand and the left leg in opposition. Exhale, bring your elbow and knee together, curling in the spine. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Place your right hand down, tuck your toes, lift your hips, three-legged dog. Draw the left knee into the chest, place the foot between the hands, preparing for your lunge. Take an inhale up. Again, inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, soften the rib cage, press your pelvis. Again, that's just getting you into a nice aligned position. Lower your right heel down, opening your hips to the right side of your mat. Warrior two, your Vajrasana two. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Right arm comes up and over. Inhale, reverse warrior, keeping a deep bend in that front leg. Windmill the arms all the way down, placing yourself into your lunge. Use your back foot to propel you into standing splits, eyes looking towards your knee. Bend your right knee behind the left, squatting. Inhale, reaching back up into extension. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Remember, you don't have to have a completely straight leg. We're just trying to lengthen our legs out. Lower your right foot down onto the mat, keeping your left ankle crossed. Start to reach forward into a cross-legged forward fold. Drop your chin to your chest. Feel the stretch along the left side of your body. Inhale, reach out and up, scooping in your body. Uh, full boat with the legs in tabletop. Bend your left leg, extend your right and switch. Keep the heart forward and the shoulder blades squeezing. This will keep you in a nice position so that you can still work your abs without compromising posture. 
keep your left leg bent, lower yourself into a seated position, right ankle flex. Hug the left knee into your chest and wrap your right elbow around your left knee, stretching towards the back of your mat. Remember, this is a great stretch to do if you have a stiff back or it helps with digestion too. Open that knee out, banana stretch, reaching your right arm up and over, stretching the hips up towards the ceiling. The more the hips can go up, the deeper the stretch. Lower yourself down, keeping the left foot in towards the right thigh. Stretch forward, single leg stretch. Inhale, slowly roll up, extend your left leg out, reach the hands back behind the hips, reverse plank. Inhale, lift the hips up, press forward. Exhale, lower down. Side plank. So lower yourself onto your right hand across the foot and reach up. Bring yourself back into a forearm plank, rotating onto both arms. Lower the knees, stretch into your child's pose and hold for three breaths. Take an inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. Walk your hands in towards your body. Make your way into a seated position. Good, I think you are all done. So that is a 10 minute yoga flow for good full body stretching. We opened our chest with downward dog. We opened our legs with the seated stretches and also those standing splits. Any of those exercises you can do will open up your body. Make sure that you follow at equipoise.llc on Instagram and join me for more YouTube videos and more fun. You can even join me in the class. I'm located in Warsaw, Indiana and soon to be located in Sarasota, Florida. Okay, thank you.